Well, people, welcome to a dreary, fucking gruesome Sunday of non stop raining. For fuck's sakes. Both mini bikes are primed and she's pissing out. Of course, you can't see it on camera, but trust me, she's wet out. Look, you can tell, you can see reflections off the road. Son of a bitch. Well, that's fine. I'm probably going to use today to clean up this place. I got some things I want to do, and uh, depending on if I feel inspired enough, I may accidentally build the uh, fucking TV stand. I just need to get some measurements and cut some wood, and then I have an idea in, up here and how I'm going to build it. So we'll get that done. But uh, for the beginning half, first thing I want to do today is get these fucking dishes done. Son of a bitch. They've been festering here for a while. And uh, this is the pot that had the macaroni. In it. Notice how there's not much sauce left? Yep, Scampers loves my cooking. Just chucking the my fucking suds to this water. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Look at it go. Oh, boy. It's going to be a wet and watery and nice pot freaking washing water. Yeah, buddy. I think she can't decide if she's hungry or just wants to look outside to see what she could possibly kill if she ever escaped. Who knows? Cats are dicked. Right, Bobby? Fuck, you're just not on cue today, eh? You got a shit? Lol, I cut a line into the water. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I got most of it done, cleared off. I want to finish this off, clear off the counter, scrub it down, get it clean. This is all the stuff I've cleaned so far, right? Waiting to dry. The whole time I was washing dishes, I was yawning. I'm fucking tired. I need a coffee. But then I felt something punch me in the bum, so I think I got a poo too. So I'm gonna go for a shit. And then make a coffee, and then uh, hopefully this stuff's uh, dry enough to be put away, and we'll finish off the dishes. Fucking right. If not, we'll just dry it manually. It's great. Oh my goodness, that poo I just took smelled so bad it made me sick. But I just let Oreo out. Gonna go potty there. But I had the time up because he's been going back through there, and as you can see, there's a spot where there's an opening back there. And you can see it in the neighbor's yard, but they got a great big golden retriever. Uh, I don't know the fucking dog's name or anything, but uh, they got this golden retriever back there, and Oreo goes over there and just fucking taunts him. And it's on a chain, so it can't get to him, but he just goes over there and acts like a dick, and he already talked to me about it, and he's like, listen, you got to keep your dog in your yard. So obviously, this little pecker head is just going to cause problems, so he's going to have to be tied up from this point on. When he goes outside, because he likes to do stupid things like run out in traffic and go into neighbors' yards and piss their dogs off. Fucking punk. Hey, you fluffy little shit disturber. Hey, Oreo. Where the fuck did he go? You're a little shit disturber, eh? Oh, now you're going to be all cute and beat up on your fox. Oh, my goodness. Here he goes. He's going to roll onto his back and just kick the crap out of it, probably. Do it. Kill it. Ah. Oh, my. And there he goes. <laughs> what a fucking animal. Completely forgot to make my coffee, but I got all the rest of the dishes done and uh, just gotta drain the water before I do that. I'm gonna clean off this cupboard and uh, oh fuck, I should wash my colander too. Yes, son of a bitch. Finding more dishes everywhere. But I wanna clean up this area and move stuff around and just, I don't know, fucking make it a little more tidier so I have a workspace to work on foods and stuff. Because people want more cooking with the hobo videos. Oh, I think next one I'm gonna work on. I got the shop vac. This fucking red dirt devil or whatever, Hoover, sorry, is fucked. Um, it turns on, it just has no fucking pressure. And uh, I thought maybe the filter was clogged, took the filter out, and there's like nothing, like the hose. It just makes a lot of noise. It's all go, or all show, no go. But this one here, uh, it's got this Bissell there, it's the, what the fuck is it, Powerful Force or Power Force, some fucking nonsense, bagless. Uh, basically that right there, this is the uh, dirt tray, but inside of there you have like five filters that you have to take out and clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out and see how bad they are, maybe that's why this one here doesn't suck anymore. And then I'm going to pass the vacuum all in here, just clean this place up. I'm going to move, I'm going to move this stuff around and get it all straightened up. Just figure shit out. That's what I need to do. Just figure shit out. So uh, get everything straightened up and set up properly. And then I can have this whole area open here for weightlifting and stuff. I can just sit on the, on the bench if I have to and do curls for the time being until I can get an actual flat bench. Huh, somebody find a new chair they like to sit in? How come you wouldn't come upstairs in the bedroom and sit on the other chair like Felix used to do? Stupid kitten. She's nothing like Felix, right? Nothing like Felix. She's a completely different kitty. She is a little bit spun, but completely different kitty. 
Felix was like, Felix, and he just come running along with his little bell collar, and, you know, he just come over you and be like, meow, like, hello, what do you want? And with scampers, like, he calls scampers, and she fucking, and then bails, like, she just fucking runs off on you. So, that's no good. Jesus, it's like every Sunday I gotta get a soaker. Freak sakes. But, uh, no, I was wiping this off, and I had the water in the sink there, and I'm wiping away, wiping away. And then I go to freaking like re-wet the rag because it was like getting kind of dry and grungy and stuff. So I put it in there and I swirled it around and still a lot of water in there. And you know what happens? It fucking starts to go up that way and it waves up this way and clears the brim and lands right on the floor and on my foot for fuck's sakes. Oh well, it's just water. Well, I'm going to drink my coffee and hopefully that wakes me the fuck up. And then uh, probably going to tackle that living room a little bit. Move things around. Yeah. Weather sure cleared up. It's not going to fool me though for fuck's sakes. Just swept up the floor there and holy shit, I don't know what the fuck happened to my broom, but uh, something attacked it. Wasn't like that last week, that's for sure. <laughs> Scampers must have fell on it or something and just banged it out. Fucking cat. Alrighty, so now what I want to dick with is this blue vacuum. I'm going to move the shop vac out of the way, obviously. We're going to grab this here blue vacuum and uh, what in the fuck? <laughs> the shop vac is, is plugged into this vacuum. Well, what the frick is really going on? Alright, well, whatever, we'll just jam this into here, somehow. Wait a second. Just wait one fucking second. Decent extension wand for the fucking shop vac. Gotta love that kind. Fuck it, I'm just gonna use the shop vac and suck all this dirt off the ground. I'm still gonna take a look at this thing here, but I'm gonna have to wash the filters and it's gonna take like fucking a day for them to dry. But uh, I got the shop vac out, so I'm just gonna quickly pass it around, suck up all the debris on the ground as much as I can get, and then go from there. So let's fucking pitter patter and have at her, people. Okay, so we're done with the vacuuming in the other room. Then I got looking at this one here, but then I started looking at this one here again because I saw these two tubes on the side and I realized they're extension tubes. But they're just not the right diameter to hook up to that vacuum's pipe. They're too small. Son of a bitch. That'd have been a good harvest before trashing that thing. Just saying. I might put it on Kijiji for 10 bucks. See if I can get 10 bucks. Fuck it. But anyway, I'm gonna take this thing apart. So to take the, uh, the fucking, uh, tank off of it, you just slide this open. Which is easier with two hands, because this fucking vacuum wants to roll away on me. Jesus. There we go. And then uh, you got your fucking dirt catcher here, and uh, it disassembles, and there's an air filter on the bottom and shit. But also, up in here, there's another filter. So you take this, and you just fucking unscrew it a little bit, and give it a wiggle, and out she comes. So this needs to be cleaned big times. But there's supposed to be another filter in here, like a fucking other thing. Or not. Nope, that's it. Okay, never mind. Look at all this shit in there. Okay, gotta clean all this out, and then uh, take this all apart and clean this out, and then, oh my goodness, it's gonna be uh, a lot of work to get a pushy sucky going. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty sure this is the culprit here as to why it wouldn't suck anymore. That's a lot of fucking gunk built up around that filter. Oh wait, no, that is the filter. Or is it? Fuck, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take this part apart, and then we'll see what the hell's really going on. My goodness. But, uh, yeah, this just slides off of uh, this filter here which is like a washable filter. So I'm going to wash these out and uh, let them dry overnight and then hopefully the cat doesn't see them and destroy them. So I might have to hide them in a cupboard somewhere to dry. And uh, I might need a new sponge filter. This one's pretty fucky. Yeah, pretty chewed up. Son of a bitch. And there we go. The five clean parts of the, of the vacuum cleaner. Capture tray, outer filter, inner filter, the uh, bottom part of this thing, and the, uh, I guess turbine? I guess that spins? I don't know, fuck. But I gotta clean up the rest of this, because this is fucking gross. Like, look at this shit. Poop in there everywhere, for sake. sakes. Like a mouse made a fucking home. Whoops, forgot a filter. This one here was wedged into that hole to keep all the shit from getting into it. I'm just gonna wedge a paper towel in there while I clean the rest of that crap out. Might even drag it over to the shop back and just fucking nail it. Great! Somehow Scampers got back there again. Well, she better figure out how to get out, because I'm not helping her anymore. I don't know where the fuck she is. She's back there. Watch. Scampers! Scampers! Well, she was meowing. No, she's not. Whatever. She's trapped. She'll figure it out. Cats can't be that stupid, right? Maybe? Oh my goodness. What a day. So we got... This vacuum should work awesome now. Uh, mainly, uh, like this vacuum that... The, uh, the Bissell. 
the Bissell should work awesome now. It's all cleaned out. Just got to put it back together. Just going to wait for the filters to dry there. And then uh, we don't really need to use it in the living room because we cleaned that all up. Even though Oreo somehow found some more fucking shit to bring in the living room. But whatever. I haven't been vaping much lately. I'm not saying I'm quitting vaping. But uh, I don't really need it much anymore because I'm not getting nicotine off of it. So I just do it from time to time for the flavor. Oh, uh, hey there, buddy. Oh, um, fuck are you doing here? What do you mean? How, what am I doing? I've been here forever. Uh, can I have a beer? Uh, no, you can't have a beer. What if I just fucking take oh, a beer? What are you going to do about that, sissy pants? I got an idea for you. Why don't, um, why don't you take, uh, some of this and fucking eat it? Oh, dear God. Oh. Silly bitch. Anyway, people, sorry about that, uh, Fuck, things happen every once in a while, and you just gotta deal with it. Sometimes violence is the answer. Let's go see where the fuck that guy ran off to. Oh, I just checked around. I can't find that son of a bitch. I have no idea where the fuck he went. But uh, if he comes around again, we'll shoot him in the face again. Fuck that. Shouldn't have to put up with that nonsense. My goodness, is it ever cool down here? Fuck, is the furnace even working? I also I cleaned out the air exchange for the furnace, but yeah, we're at 69. Good number! So I decided to defrost two of these steaks, which they're already fucking defrosted, these cowboy steaks. They're not very thick, so I figured they said just chuck them in a bowl of water for 30 minutes and they defrost, and sure as shit, fuckers are soggy, so they're defrosted. So now we just gotta go out to the barbecue and cook the shit out of these, and that'd be glorious. I figured if we're gonna go to the garage, should have vacuumed in here too, it's a fucking mess. But uh, I'm gonna grab these power bars, and uh, not you. <laughs> I'm gonna grab these power bars, bring them out to the garage. I just wanted to see something on them real quick, is how the fuck do they bolt to the wall? Uh, maybe there's some hardware in here that I'm not seeing. Cause looking on the back of these, there is no screw holes. None, no screw holes. How the fuck do you go on the wall? Son of a bitch. Okay, well before we hit the barbecue and do this shit, I just want to fucking put away this shit so that I can have less shit on my counter. Because I'm sick and tired of shit. Well, this shit's still soaked, so... Um, well, the sponge isn't too bad. This is still pretty wet. Fuck, I had it sitting here on the cupboard. Something right there where you can see that water. And uh, I just need to uh, finish letting this dry off and then I can put the vacuum back together. But I got all the dishes put away and um, we're golden. So we can go out to the barbecue now and fire up the queue and uh, look into installing these fucking things. These uh, Noma 12 outlet power bars. Ideal for garage and home workshops, eh? Fucking right. I don't know how many amps these things can take before... Oh, there we go. 15 amps. So they can take the full 15 rail, which is awesome because I got one rail on one side of the garage and one rail on the other. Two breakers out there. Gotta love that. So... 15 amps per side, I'll take it. I need 240 volt out there, or 220 volt, or whatever the fuck it is. Alrighty, we're out here in the garage there. Um, just put the barbecue. I'm not gonna open the bay door, I'm gonna open up uh, this side door. The fucking wind is just coming at us like 330 miles a second here, people. So we'll just do that, keep the door open, let the air go out and in that way, fire up the queue, get some uh, steaks going on there. And then we're gonna figure out where the fuck we're gonna hang those uh, those things. It's power burrs. Yeah. I got a thermometer in here. I didn't even know that. Does it even work? <laughs> Did it lose all of its mercury? Oh no, it's working. It's about that. About 55-ish, maybe. I don't fucking know. But uh, yeah, I was thinking of putting one power bar. Maybe I'll remove this thermometer and put one up high along there, ish. And then do the same on this side, not sure where, not sure where. Probably just put it along the bottom there maybe, that'd be alright. Alrighty, there we go, steaks around the barbie, let those bake up. Fuck, I thought I saw a sticker on it. <laughs> and I got one of these light bars separated from the tape there, I'm going to tear into it and see what we got for mounting brackets. Alrighty, so this is what I found in there for mounting hardware is uh, just this shit. So, yeah, not quite sure, I guess he bolt. Fuck, I don't know, I guess you just drive this thing into the wall and then clip the son of a bitch on. Guess that's how it works, just clips on over the fatties here. I don't, I don't know, we're gonna have to look into this, son of a bitch. Okay, so from what I'm seeing here is, you can either use like wood screws or whatever just to blast through those four holes, then you mount these up on the wall, and then literally, I'm not gonna do it again because oh my god was it a bitch to take off, but uh, this just clips on like this, you know, you can just tuck, tuck. I don't want to do it again because I just did it and I had to fucking pry this thing off with a screwdriver and I sent it flying way the fuck over there. So we're not going to do it like that. I'm not going to, I'm going to show you once we get it up there. 
I'm gonna hang that one up first and figure it out. So let's do this. I just got foiled on my install, people. I can't find a fucking pen, marker, or anything to bring and put a line on the wall. Son of a bitch. Well, still gonna do this, still gonna do it, but it's gonna have to be after I eat because I gotta find a Sharpie. Maybe that bastard Mr. Airsoft Ponage stole it. I don't know. Apparently he's been here for a while, fucking drinking my beer and stealing my shit. Son of a bitch. So I'm gonna eat these delicious sons of bitches and then we'll head back out to the garage and get those power bars up. I've only owned them for two years and never did shit with them. Fuck sakes. You know why they call this cowboy steak? Because it's probably made of real horses. Nom, 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 nom. Fuck you, horses. I said in one of my romping vlogs that it gets dark really fast around here. So it's 6.08 p.m. And as you can tell beyond the curtain, it's pretty bright. So let's see what happens in about, I will say, 30 minutes. So I'll come back at quarter to seven. And there you go. It's 6.49 and take a look at this. Now look at it out there. Fucking darker than shit. Son of a bitch. So I had some guests last night, eh? I was gonna grab a beer and head out to the garage and get this fucking uh, power bars installed. But um, last night, uh, a friend called me and wanted to come over, her and her friend and stuff. And I was like, all right, whatever, sure. So I'm just gonna run to the beer store, get a case, and then uh, I'll go pick you guys up. And they had rides home, which was perfect, because I was planning on getting filthy fucking drunk last night. And let me tell you, I did, because Apparently I sucked back 15 beers last night. That's right, killed the case and I was kind of upset there. I was out there barbecuing those steaks and had no beer and it's just weird but I was also busy with the fucking trying to figure out those uh, power bars. I'm looking for a Sharpie, couldn't find my Sharpie, my Sharpie's fucking missing. So I was like, holy fuck, did I really kill 15 beers? Like I looked around and I only found 8 empties so... I only killed eight out of the fifteen. Where the fuck did the other seven go? Because the other two, uh, the other two girls, they weren't drinking. Uh, they don't like beer, and uh, I ended up picking up just a case of pop, uh, Coke, for for them to have. But um, it was like, oh my goodness! And they didn't drink any beer last night either. It was just me. So I guess I drank fifteen beers, and that's why when I saw Mr. Airsoft Ponage today say he was gonna steal my fucking beer, that's why I got so mad and shot him in the face. Because fuck sakes, beer expensive. It's not cheap, you know. You pay twenty-four dollars for fifteen beers. It's not cheap, no. But I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a long time, people. I haven't had a pop in a long time. I don't know why I bought a fucking big case of pop. Like, well, they sell it in eighteen pack. It was eighteen cans of Coke for four bucks. I guess that's a good deal. I don't know. I don't buy pop. I'm gonna grab myself a Coke to drink out in the garage and um, what the fuck? Check this shit out. Fucking note and some beer and a sharpie. What the fuck? Sorry for stealing your beer. Here are a few on me, Mr. Airsoft Ponage. Oh, there's something on the back. P.S. Stole your Sharpie too. That fucking bitch. Beers did he leave me? He left me five beers. Oh, that's all right. I kind of feel bad for shooting him in the face now. Sometimes I just let my anger get over me, right? And I fucking shoot people in the face. It's it's fucking it's the way of life. Like it's. It's how you do it, right? Somebody gets on your nerves, you just fucking shoot him in the face. Guy's been stealing my beer for a while. So, now, he just apologized for stealing my beer. So I bet you any money, every time I came up to get a beer, he snuck in from somewhere, because I don't know how the fuck he got in here in the first place, but he was upstairs. I didn't see him. Must have came through the bedroom window, probably. Who the fuck knows? Probably went out that way. I never checked in there. I should go check in there. He's probably fucking in there, just freaking choking, stroking on my bed, for fuck's sakes. Let's get out to the garage. Now we have a Sharpie. Let's grab a beer 12 and uh, head out there. Or a beer 5, because he only gave me 5 beers, that fucking goof. One thing for sure, he watches my videos, because he noticed that I'm off the James Ready and I'm on the old fashioned Pilsner. So, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is take off this thermometer, which is just screwed to the wall, so I'm going to do that right now. Jesus fuck, look at the size of the screw he used just to mount that thermometer to the wall. It's like 72 inches long. And it's gone! Like a boss! This just ended. My mind just got fucking blown. I've lived in this house for nine years. I never knew that there was a fucking window back here. This is this bench. There's my welder. There's the mini bike. There's the other side where the window is. But there's also a window right fucking here. What is really going on? Okay, we need to inspect this. I know it's raining out right now, but 
You know what, we're going to check that out during the daytime because it's too fucking dark to see anything. But uh, I never knew that there was a window there, people. I had no fucking idea. That is just dicker. Well, now I know how all my heat's getting out, fuck's sakes. But anyway, I've marked off a spot here on the wall and a spot here. That's where I want the top of the power bar to be. I'm going to mount them right to the window frame and then uh, just clip it on for now. And then later on what I want to do is probably take down this fucking cork board here, take all this shit off, take it down, move my drill uh, somewhere and find out what's behind there and then insulate it properly, just fucking wedge some R32 in there and then chamfer it off and cover it up and be done with it. Because I can guarantee it heat's just bleeding out of that orifice. Probably just bleeding out like a son of a hoover. Anyway, um... I'm going to go ahead and mount the brackets, and then we're going to snap this thing to the wall, plug it in, and hope it doesn't grenade. Ain't the prettiest job, but she's on there. I just uh, used, where the fuck are they, these screws here, which are not right screws, obviously sheet metal screws, whatever. Fucking put one through the center of that mount, one through the center of that mount. It's on there, it ain't going anywhere, look, you can tell, it's fucking on there. And it is plugged in right over there, so... To prove it's working, we'll plug in our drill. Actually, you know what? We'll plug in this, which is that light and that drill, into the ear, uh, if it wants to. There it goes, there it goes. And then, boom shackle lock, uh, and works perfectly, friggin' right. Anyway guys, I'm pretty much done for today. I forgot to mention I got the text from my boss and I have to fucking work tomorrow. Son of a bitch. I can't be here to help dad with this roof. Uh, he said he's just going to come here and do it without me. If I'm here, cool. If not, he's just going to do it. So uh, he, he's he got two by sixes and shit that he had from uh, renovations and stuff underneath the deck. So he's going to bring those over and reinforce that there. Push it back up, reinforce the fuck out of it. And then it'll be good to go. Still got to put that vacuum back together. But... Um, before I do anything, I gotta push the lawnmower. I gotta get everything out of the back so Dad has room to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that right now and then uh, go from there. But I still have to put the vacuum back in the uh, back together. But the problem is, is the fucking uh, filter isn't dry yet. That sponge is taking a little too long. So I'm probably gonna squeeze it some more, bang it out a bit, and then let it dry some more and go from there. But I'm shutting the video down here, people. Let me get the shit out of Dad's way and go from there. So thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.